right right here at the studios, right here at um, Hudson Square, how this area has changed mechanically. Feels walk outside, sidewalks are larger, plantings. Um, it seems that this is, and this is for the entire panel, that is the trend New York is moving toward, making it a lot more comfortable when you come to work. Whether it's Hudson Square, whether it's Flatiron, whether it's, I, I can't believe we're talking about this, but Fifth Avenue, right? And, and softening the hard edges of our city. Could, could all of the uh, panel speak? Well, it's interesting. A friend of mine uh, runs a company called Corporate Coffee. And one of the things that he is finding is that companies are trying to up the amenities available to their employees to get them to come to work. Uh, there are other issues, and I, I hope I'm not cutting you short here, Neil. Some things it seems like we're doing are, I have to, say, I have to talk about congestion pricing. You know, it seems like if we want more people to come back into the city, and I would imagine you may want to address that uh, in larger part, but it just seems like we're penalizing people for coming into the city. And that seems like something that's going to work against getting more people to come back. And I don't know at what length you want to go into that. Yeah, I mean, you can elaborate on that. I think the congestion pricing story is going to be the biggest one of 2024 for New Yorkers. Um, everyone I talk to, whether they are a business owner or a resident, uh, is very concerned, um, to say the least, um, a lot more expletives to, to add to that, that that people have shared, just in terms of um, the impact it's going to have. How So from your perspective, from a business owner's perspective, what is it going to do to growth? Um, I'm very encouraged that Mayor Adams has chosen a commissioner that comes from a small business background, because oftentimes folks in the government community don't understand the impact that changes in rules and regulations will have on behavior. They look at data and they take a static approach that if we raise this price, for instance, they're going to get the same number of people, so they're going to increase their revenue by this much. And they don't understand that when you change the rules and the parameters, you're also going to change behavior. This is a system that, if it works, will be its own downfall. You know, if the idea is to raise money for the MTA, but you're going to have fewer people coming into the city, so you're going to diminish the revenues that you might generate. And the other problem is that, you know, in the real world, you don't say, well, I need to get better, so I'm going to charge more. You have to get better first. If the city wants people to use more mass transit, I think what they have to do is work on improving mass transit. And if they need to generate more revenue to do that, it should come from uh, more of a general revenue source, whatever that fact might and, be. And, and where do you get a general revenue source? I mean, this is, this is something that we've been dealing with for the longest time. Uh, and, well, when I know, say general revenue, yeah. there could be other fees that are more broadly applied because- So, so you're saying more taxes? No, what I'm saying is that this. Is that? Other than that, I don't know where you'd get it. That's why I'm not so much in favor. You, you, what I'm saying is, you, doing you it add this... me to the panel, I start mixing it up. You there you go. <laughs> but but 